so this is the platformer game over here the very first screen is the instruction you have to click on the start button and let's see i have got only two levels here you can create any number of levels it all depends on you and you can make it a little bit difficult so my cat is jumping and if it is jumping over here it has to come down so if it is touching the green one it is not going up and once it has got the key then it will go to the door and it, the door will be get open for it now after that this is the second level if my cat is touched by any of the spiders the lives are going to be decreased i have got three lives i am saved by the first spider uh, now my life has been decreased So this is the platformer game. Let's see how we can make it. Let's start with the new file. I'm going to upload the image for the backdrop. I duplicated this, so I'm going to write the instructions on the second backdrop. Okay, so this is going to be my backdrop one. This I can name it as instructions. First, let's draw the platform. Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to change the color. Then I need the grass to be curvy. So for that, what I have to do is I'll take my V shape tool, and then I will draw some points here. Once it is done, click on the select tool, and then just place zoom out and place it over here now what we can do we can select both of them and just copy and paste shift it up make it smaller I think the cat is quite big so we can reduce the size of the cat I need my coins I want the cat should collect some coins and then it should also find the key it should also collect the key to open the door so my next sprites are going to be coins what i did is i just uh, google out the coins i'll take this one i'll save it as save image as now we are going to upload the sprite so now let's go to the costume because we need to delete this white area so you can see we have different costume for the coin because it is flipping so it is the animated coin now to remove this white area what we have to do is we just click on fill and then we are going to click on this sign this no fill option using your bucket tool you just click on the white area and it will get deleted this is the same thing you have to do with each and every costume You can check on the state that the white area is being removed. Okay, now we just need to change the size. It's too big. So let's make it um, 10. I think that's fine. So then I'm going to keep it here and I want that it should have first costume. So let's hold that first that when the flag is clicked, we just switch to the first costume now i just want at least three to four coins so i'm just going to duplicate them that's it i'm going to upload the door also now after that i want the key let's change the size after that let's uh, give movement to our cat my cat is going to move on the left hand side and the right hand side and then i want my cat, cat to jump up now i'm not going to use the downward key because after jumping it should come down on its own all right so let's give the moment to our cat so when the right key is pressed change x by 10 and when left key is pressed change x by minus 10 now you can see that my cat is moving towards the left the face 
is again towards the right so it is not affecting it either so what we have to do that when it is going on the right hand side it should be 90 and when it is going to the left hand side it should be minus 90 so now it is working perfectly all right now i want my cap to jump i will not include the up arrow key here because then i need a variable to be added so what i'll do i'll go to events and i'll say when up arrow key is pressed y is going to change i want my catch to be here every time first left right and then up arrow key it is jumping now it has to come down so i can put change y by minus 10 after it is going up i can put that but the thing is how much it should come down i want this cat to touch the ground and then stop if this cat is touching the green grass it should stop this is the platform so my cat is going to stand on the platform i'll create a variable up okay and then i am going to use this up variable so there will be a change when i'm pressing the up arrow key then i will change the velocity this up value by one okay. then i'm going to repeat this process after it is jumping up it should come down right so i'll set after jumping up i'll set up the variable as zero so when it is jumping my up variable is one otherwise it is zero we will need it i'll tell you why we need this up variable okay so now we have to do the coding like when my cat is jumping it should rest on this green platform first two things that we have to understand is that my cat is going to come down if it is not touching this green color the platform and I'm not pressing the up arrow key. So if I'm pressing the up arrow key, my up is going to change by one. Otherwise it is, will be zero. This is what I have coded here. If my cat is going up, if I'm pressing the up arrow key, then my that variable up arrow key is one. If I'm not pressing that, then it is going to be zero. Okay, so, so suppose if I press my up arrow key, then it is one. So it will go up by 10. It is going to change the variable the y axis by 10 then my up is 0 it means that key when pressed that work is finished so now my cat is going down until it is not touching this color right so it will touch the color and then it will stop so it is has to come down until it is not touching the color and why my up when i'm not pressing the up arrow key so we have to code this so let's code it here now we have to test two things first thing is that we it should come down until it is touching this green color and my up should be zero So if these two conditions are there, then I'm going to change y by minus 10. Can you see it has jumped up and then it has come down. It's not going further down. If I won't put this, it what will happen? It will come down and it will touch this ground. Let me show you. Put it over here. So can you see it is coming down? It is not going to uh, stop. So I am going to stop it with this condition right so it is going to rest so if my cat is here again it's going to rest on the green platform one more thing is there that when this cat is touching it is going through this brown color also i don't want that it is going through the brown color so if it is touching brown color it should come down okay so i'm going to duplicate this okay so it will not go through the platform it has to go from here or either on the from the left side or right side now i want my coin to flip so let's do the animation for them so the same thing i'm going to apply to each and every coin so now my coins are flipping and they are animated now i am going to make the variable coin and now we have to do the coding that if my cat is touching the coin then the coin is 
going to be incremented by 1 and then they I have to hide them and first of all we also should set 0 0.20 when the flag is clicked so let's see we have done it for the first coin so it is done the same thing I'm going to apply to the second coin so now it's time for the key now while my cat is touching the key the key should be hidden and then this key should broadcast the message for the next level first of all I want my key to move up and down so let's take the glide block and then I want it to come back now I want uh, this cat to touch this key and uh, so let's do that again then it should hide first and then it should broadcast the message so now first of all this cat should take this key and then it this should this cat is going to touch this door there are two condition that my cat is going on the second level when i receive level 2 i have to test whether my cat is touching this door so let's see if my cat is here so x axis should be greater than uh, you can say 130 and y axis should be less than 105 I have to check both the axes so I'll take the end operator if x position is greater than let's say I'll just keep it 130 you just take it around because it's 145 so I'm taking 130 it will again broadcast the message so now I need another level I have to draw another level so let's draw another right I've just made the level like this you can create your own platforms you can uh, shift the platform wherever you want to so I just made it like this now it's time to make our cat come to level 2 so now what I want is that I want my first level to be hidden when I receive the message that my cat is entering to level 2 and my second level should be shown so I'll write over here I'm going to show the first level when the flag is clicked and I'm going to hide the level 1 when it is receiving the message that the cat is going to level 2 similarly for this level it is going to be hidden when the flag is clicked and it is going to be shown when it will receive the message that it is the cat is going to level 2 so let's check that so now I am in my level 2 